Hey there guys and welcome to another video. Uh, I am starting out at a new farm. I am out here in Wisconsin right now and I uh, just ran through this field uh, that I'm looking at now. I ran through with my soil sampling uh, device on the back of my fence over here. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, this is a um, device I use fairly often in the beginning uh, of uh, before planting. Uh, it's a soil sampling device, and it's part of the. I believe it's. Oops, I left my I left my uh, seed cover open. <laughs> Just filled up the planter with seed. Brand new equipment uh, over at the tractor supply. There is where the uh, purchased equipment uh, appears or spawns. Um, but I can show you the soil data. Uh, it's part of the precision farming mod. Um, so this is what it looks like. These are the splotches of soil data that I just uh, just acquired here. And I mainly focused on this field here. It doesn't look that exciting because of the um, the type of soil is that color. So it's, you know, dark blue and, and uh, light brown. But when you scroll through, you can see pH values, nitrogen values, which are obviously not not good at the moment but I'll be fertilizing later on and yield which we don't have any data yet because I have never used this field before um, but eventually uh, after harvest I think this will uh, show some data so uh, but just want to scroll through the pH is a little more exciting get a little more detail um, but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna hop in the 8R and uh, and plant uh, I haven't uh, I might do canola maybe uh, to start out just because uh, it's one of my favorite crops um, but yeah so brand new equipment brand new farm and yeah planning for the first time all right and this uh, this is one of my favorite planters this is a great plains uh, I forget the specific number but this is a mod that allows me to plant uh, into a field without cultivating or plowing. Uh, I prefer no-till operations and it also allows planting into standing crop as well which uh, some of the other planters are not able to in this sim. So that's one of, this is my, one of my favorite mod planters uh, and plus it can do almost every crop I think it can plant. Let me just do that now. Make sure I don't forget to do that. Canola. Uh, I'm going to close the cover. <laughs> Just filled it up with seed. As you can see, not all the way. I just did two uh, two bags. And yes, okay. Let it unfold there. And I'm wondering if I should. I might set up. Uh, the GPS maybe. Make sure I don't back into my tractor there. <laughs> and I don't mind leaving a bit of an edge. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect in the beginning. Um, because I don't mind uh, having a bit of an edge along the field if I miss every every square inch of uh, tillable plantable soil but let me see uh, if I can create a track here with a GPS if that'll do anything <coughs> okay I just need to turn the GPS system on and what's the GPS menu one second here as I get set up here Okay. I should. What is this field? Um. <laughs> oh, they don't have names. Oh, <laughs> I just realized that. I was going to create a profile for the GPS system, but these fields don't have names, so we'll just go with. Oops. If I could spell. Field one. Oh, okay. We don't need an offset. I don't think it's going to work. Set A. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. Just making sure I'm doing the right thing here. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, we have... I don't know, can you see the little little green A right there? It's floating underneath the tractor. It's just a visual aid here to help me with the GPS. Uh, let me get my speed set. I like to leave it on cruise auto speed or whatever. Start up at 6 miles an hour. Okay, here we go. We'll run downhill and knock down the speed. Okay, right on. This is exciting. <laughs> First field in this farm. And uh, I'm going to use outside view a little bit just to aid me here. Uh, since I am creating a GPS track, um, I want to be a little precise for the first time while I'm in manual mode here. Uh, because it will do the next uh, opposite pass by itself or however I end up planting this field. So, and this is not a uh, <laughs> this is not a uh, conventional square field like in some of the other maps. Uh, so, I just want to pay a little closer attention here. That's a nice field. I like that. So yeah, I hope you're having a great day, and um, if you uh, are into farm sim, I hope hope you're uh, still enjoying it. I don't have the latest version. Uh, I prefer uh, FS19 just because um, that's uh, where I've spent the most time, and also uh, just the amount of mods that I have and uh, enjoy still. Um, in no rush to upgrade, and uh, to be completely honest, I, I don't, you know, I, I haven't played the new version, but I don't see, you know, how much it could really be different, but, uh, yeah, so that's, but again, I don't know, so, but yeah, I still enjoy this one a lot. I think it's kind of funny how the, uh, texture of the field is not lining up with where I'm planting. <laughs> this is an aftermarket map or a mod, or a mod map, I guess you could say. Um, so, not perfect, but it's, uh, it's funny. <laughs> it won't, uh, hopefully it doesn't make a difference when the stuff actually grows. Hopefully it grows in a straight line, but we'll see. Uh, this could be interesting if uh, I'm planting corn and stuff like that, if it's the rows are not going to follow where I planted. That could be a little annoying. But yeah, just wanted to make a video. First planting of this farm. And uh, this can be a bit uh, monotonous, so I might just cut it off here. But just wanted to mark. Uh, so I've, I'm now going through three different farms, uh, spreading my time in between here. Wisconsin, which is brand new. Brand new to me, map. Uh, brand new everything. So the California farm, which I have the most time invested, and uh, the most uh, modifications and everything. And then the uh, farm in Felsbrunn, which is also a new farm I've started, and uh, I'm going to, looking forward to uh, spending time there as well, because it's a really beautiful map. So, But yeah, just wanted to make a video just to mark the uh, beginning of another farm. And... Uh, I love just spending time uh, in the cab and and uh, doing some planting. And also, this is a tractor I haven't used before. Uh, this 8R model 310. So uh, nice to be in a different different equipment. So anyway, I think uh, yeah, this is going to take a while. So <laughs> uh, a little bit shorter video this time, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.